G'day Internet, welcome back to another video. Here is my BBC Micro again. Uh, if you remember a little while ago, we did some upgrades to it. We put in the Turbo SPI uh, and poked around at the RGB to HDMI adapter. I'll put a link to that somewhere around here. But this time around, we have a slightly more period correct upgrade, and that is this. This is the official BBC Micro Second 6502 coprocessor, uh, which plugs into the tube port of the BBC Micro. Now, I don't really have that much use for this myself, uh, but it was interesting enough to take a look at. Uh, so in this video, we're going to run some benchmarks uh, and probably take a look at the most widely used uh, use of this, and that is the uh, tube version of Elite. So we have our BBC Micro and our second processor with its very long power cable. And to be quite honest, this just simply sits right next to there, and that plugs into the tube port underneath the machine. Now, before we go playing with the second 6502, like almost it seems everything with the BBC Micro, it requires a ROM. So, the screw's already out of this, Let's cover off, flip the keyboard out of the way, align our notch on our ROM chip, and In it goes. That is the DNFS ROM, uh, which gives the Beeb, um, as well as a bunch of other things, uh, the second processor support. Now, obviously, I've got both units face down, which is not the way you would normally do it, but it's easier for me to demonstrate it this way. Um, we have our tube port and the ribbon cable from the second 6502, and that simply slots into there. And that is your entire connection. And if we simply turn on the 6502 first, and then the BBC Micro, it comes up with Tube 6502 and a full 64K of RAM. Right, like I said, I wanna run some benchmarks, and what I'm actually gonna run is uh, the basic, little basic program that Noel put out there a while back. I think it was in his ti 99 a video which I'll put a link to somewhere. Um, and it's just a very simple kind of like eight line program um, that he's also done a spreadsheet for. Uh, and so he's been able to compare a whole bunch of different basic versions. So I've booted the machine up um, without the second processor. Now someone has actually already run this benchmark uh, and got, I think it was 19 seconds for the basic just as it's written, uh, and nine seconds if you use um, integer variables in the same program. So we're actually going to run both just to confirm that I get the same results, and then we'll run the same on the second 6502. With that uh, all punched in there, I have my phone handy, which I will run um, for my benefit now, but I will put a timestamp, uh, which is gonna be a bit more precise once I go and edit this video. So, run. And yeah, 19 seconds plus change. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite that using uh, integer variables and we'll see what the result is then. Right. Once again, no oh, typo. Try that again. Uh, 
And yeah, nine, nearly 10 seconds. Right, we now have the machine booted back up with the second 6502, so let's go again. Right, the first benchmark and go. Twelve seconds, nearly thirteen, uh, which is down from what nineteen seconds. That's pretty good. And one more benchmark. Let's punch in the integer variable version of this. And one more time. Right, no idea what happened the first time, but... Six point four seconds, which is down from what nine and a bit seconds. So that's a big improvement as well. Now it should be pointed out as to why there is such a big improvement in the benchmarks. At the end of the day, the BBC Micro came with a two megahertz six five zero two and thirty two k of RAM. The processor in the second unit actually runs at three megahertz plus the extra RAM as well. Uh, and when you do plug in a second processor to the BBC, it literally takes over the whole processor. Like it doesn't use the processor in this machine unless you code it specifically to do. So at the moment we are actually running on the, six, the three megahertz 6502 that is in this unit. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, the last thing I want to do is what any discerning owner of a second 6502 unit would do, uh, and that's take a look at the version of Elite that was specifically written for this extra processor. But before we do, let's take a look at the original Elite. And here it is in its all its, what, four color glory. And this is what the original Elite looked like on your BBC Micro. And with the second 6502 unit now powered on. Now, quick note, the menu system for the Turbo SPI for some reason doesn't work with the 6502, so you've got to get to it manually, but that's easy done. Uh, what is it? Uh, DIN 45, I think it is. Uh, and then star... Uh, tube ELT. And there we have the Tube version of Elite. Now, I should also point out that I have never played Elite. I know it is the classic game for the BBC Micro. Never played it, really should sit down uh, and spend some time learning it, but that's a job for another day. And there we go. There is a quick look at the second 6502 unit for the BBC Micro, which together with the main machine, is really starting to get up to Amstrad CPC levels of desk real estate. But a cool uh, back in the day add-on or upgrade um, that I'm kind of happy to be able to show you now in 2021. But for now, that will pretty much do it. If you like the video, click like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you would like to help support the channel, I am on Patreon, just like these wonderful people just here. Uh, and that will do it. And I will see you in the next one.